Now let's talk about the reason we're talking about Patriots West and the reason, you know, Vegas is being called that because of all the Las Vegas signings from New England. And that's mostly started because of this guy this morning, Brian Hoyer. Um, Hoyer signed. Now, I will preface by saying I really don't have an issue with the Brian Hoyer signing. Um, the fact he has a tie to the New England Patriots, uh, I think, makes it a little concerning because it feels to me like Josh McDaniels is leaning on a lot of of his past for his future and I don't like that I don't like living in the past I think you need to live on the edge you need to be ahead of the curve on decisions um, try, trying to bring old old guys back in and recreating past glory with the guy who's been in the league since 2009 he's got a 16 and 24 record he's 59 percent completion percentage um, 53 and 35 touchdown interceptions which isn't terrible um, Hoyer knows McDaniel's system. He's a plug-and-play, carry a clipboard, carry the fucking water bottle cart. He can fill in a, a half a game if needed, a pickup for a game. So I, I'm not concerned because it looks like to me, with the Brian Hoyer signing, that you're probably riding with Jimmy G. And I've been saying this for a couple weeks. You signed Jimmy G, Jimmy Pornstar, to fucking three years. That, to me, believes, and this signing reinforces it to me, especially with Chase Garber still being around under paper. You've got three quarterbacks in-house. Brian Hoyer knows the system. If Garoppolo's healthy, I think they're rolling with Garoppolo this year, probably with Hoyer at backup, possibly Garber's at third. Garber's goes to the practice squad because nobody else is going to pick his ass up. So you've got him there to use as your third to bring up if you need. If Jimmy goes down, Brian has to come up to starter. You you bring Chase up from the practice squad. He's your third. I think that's probably what you got. And then next year they're going to draft the quarterback. That concerns me about what the plan is as far as the record for the Las Vegas Raiders for this year. Because are we coming in with the fucking game plan like last year? Like fucking scrap it? It's, it's fine. We're, we're out here evaluating people, doing fucking OJT. That concerns me more than anything. Because I think next year, I think they're really going to try to rebuild the defense in the draft this year. And, and it looks like they could stray away from quarterback. They could be thinking, with Darth Vader Raider down there is thinking, Caleb Williams or somebody along that line. It's a deep quarterback draft, next draft. But Brian Hoyer, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. It's just another Patriot. I think that's what everybody's seen right out of the gate. But to be a guy that carries a clipboard, he knows the system, he's a plug-and-play guy, he's what Jared Stidham was last year. They brought Jared Stidham in as a guy who knew the system, who's a plug-and-play at backup, you could throw out there, and he can play fucking balls out for a game. And he did exactly that. And Hoyer can do that. And he has done that before. He's a guy you can throw in a game to close out a fucking fourth quarter if your guy gets knocked out or, or close out a second half and still have some fire. So I don't have a problem with the Hoyer signing. I really don't. 